What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another abysmal episode of the Project Zomboid. And uh, our last episode, we got her, uh, we got Laura here, got her up to the logging camp, and we were kind of like, uh, we're I think we're about a day away from winter actually coming. Um, but we do need to do a lot of exploration of the logging camp and uh, checking out checking out all the crates and stuff that we can get to. Um, right now, I think we're far. Uh, a little bit far west and we need to move a little bit east to start getting into the areas I want to check but um, but yeah so that's where we're at right now I think I need to get over this wall I can't remember if there's a way through here I think this is all gated yeah well if it is we have to walk out and then go back go back down the street a little bit and that's fine with me to get into the crates this is like the logging area, and I think it's, uh, if I remember correctly with the map, uh, it goes a little bit east. I think we just need to head east. And then we'll run into log uh, log run into at least the crate areas. And then, uh, you know, so what are the things we kind of need right now? I, I, I'd love to get myself an axe. Uh, what other things do I really need right now? I don't know. Sledgehammer would be good. That could be useful. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, here's the road. I think we just head north, and then we'll be right up on the logging area, or at least the place I wanted to get to. I think so. Could be a little bit wrong. I might be messed up on my directions. I mess up my directions a little bit. Here, I'll put a pause in real quick, check up where I'm at, and then we'll uh, move from there. Yeah, it looks like I was totally backwards. <laughs> it looks like the logs, uh, logging area is a little bit east, and I need to head west to get over in there. Yeah, so it's totally backwards. Need to get some sleep still. Need to go eat a little bit of food. Laura could use some of that. So just got to he start heading all the way out here. We're moderately, uh, we have a moderate exertion already, and that's something we need to take a rest. But it's only 11.20 in the day. Um, I think I could probably do without getting any sleep right now. As for a weapon, we're still uh, ha handling things with a, a nice hammer, which isn't the greatest. Uh, so if we run into any piles of zombies, it's probably not something I want to take on. Uh, but yeah, I've been waiting until I get my mic. Uh, I think I've said it a couple times to people to actually do a lot of recording. Plus, I have a lot of school and stuff that just started for me this week. And... Uh, just less time I wanted to spend on the games, uh, uh, making more episodes, just because um, in about a week I'm going to be going full force with uh, making episodes again, because I was just waiting for the mic, you know, and, and I, I've just been really disappointed with my sound quality lately, and not happy, but I know I've talked about it before, boohoo me, right, yeah, who cares, right, let's just get on with the game, man, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying, you know what I'm trying to do, is on, there's a little road right here, and that should just lead us right into the area I want to get into and hopefully not attract a whole bunch of zombies here yeah let's see yeah you guys didn't see me right uh, there's one of them's gonna see me this guy's gonna see me no he doesn't care I guess he didn't really care that I'm walking through here that's all right oh some more there we can come at this a little bit of angle so we don't attract a whole bunch of zombies while we're trying to get into this uh, warehouse area Shouldn't be any real high populations over here, though, so I'm not too worried about that. Our exertion has finally dropped, so I can probably start running again, but I don't need to. Alright, here we go. Right? Yeah, here we go. This is where I want to be. And normally this area is pretty uh, dead, uh, as in there's not many zombies in it, so... You don't have to worry too much about this area. And so it's always a good area to get to. One of the first areas you would like to hit, especially with the uh, three days later winter coming, you know, this seems like the right place to be. Are zombies following me? Not that I notice. Now I think, yeah, one of these uh, sheds are open. Yeah, look at the overgrowth, man. It's like literally eight months later. It's summer and eight months later, which is uh, normally you don't see. Really want to try the other challenge, the eight months later, but um, I'm mean, not the eight months, the uh, one day, wait one day, and then all of a sudden everything goes to crap. First things first, find an axe, right? 
nails, a lot of, a lot of nails. Really low on loot, I've noticed, on this uh, run. They, they definitely uh, don't fill up a lot of these crates and everything like they So they have like loot down to like super low and rare. Yeah, uh, the likelihood we even run into anything else like a uh, axe or anything, even with all these crates, might be low. There might be literally like one axe. Oh, a sledgehammer is good though. That is good. Shotgun. Okay, so here we go. Now we're starting to run into some weapons. Um, and yeah, I will want all these things, sure. Um, but they're really heavy items. I don't have a good uh, bag right now. Really what we want to do is get ourselves an axe. Oh, there it is. There's the axe. Alright, let's go ahead and equip that with both hands. That should be good. And maybe we don't even have this equipped... Oh, we can't equip it on our back, so that sucks. Now everything's going to be in our hands. But that gives us more protection. Um, what other things am I going to need, like, right this second type things? Well, axe was, like, one of the biggest things. A saw. If I can find a saw, that'd be good, just so then we could start work on uh, on our home base and everything and start getting uh, chopping down wood and getting some planks and stuff. That would probably be good. Other than that, we need maybe a screwdriver. Um, of course, nails. If I find some boxes of nails, I'll grab those. Um, maybe I'll just have to go one-handed with this axe, and then um, and then use the and then have the trash bag as secondary, and this axe as primary for now until I find myself a good backpack or something. I think that'd be a better idea. Then at least we can carry some more things. Can I put this in here? Let me do that. Yeah, I can't. Trash bag is not the best car carrying thing, but uh, that's all we have right now. Okay. Want to get into these ones, too. There's also some open ones, and let's just run over to the open ones. So, a saw, screwdriver, and uh, I guess a shotgun. If I can carry the shotgun out, I'll, I'll take one with me. But I have to get a lot of shotgun shells, so it's not really as important as you think. You know, I, it's something I want and something I'd like to take with me. But without a good bag carry, uh, carrying capabilities right now, I think it's something I might have to just forego for a little bit. I always can come back up here if needed. And what is that? Just some regular nails? Ah. Okay, we should start gathering up on nails as we see them. Because I'm going to end up using a lot of nails making some fences and stuff. Watering can. It's going to be... I know there's like tons of stuff here. I'm just going to be like, oh, I wish I, it's over there in the warehouse. I wish I had it. Yeah, we should get into that break room soon, too. So then we can uh, get ourselves fed and some water and stuff before uh, Laura gets too thirsty here. No? All these crates not doing too good? Really low. It, it's amazing. Like, And then you'll just find a whole bunch of stuff. That's just how it goes. So we're doing a quick glance over. I'm not going to be using the sledgehammer to bust through all these crates and stuff. If I'm not really seeing much in the front, I'm not really worried about it. Okay, trowel. Yeah, we need a trowel. Now we can do some farming. Well, actually, it won't even matter, I guess. I, I guess I'll get the trowel anyways, because once it hits the winter, you can't grow anything anyways. So I'm not going to be able to grow. I'll, I'll get some potatoes. I'll put them out, maybe. But Oh, look at that fertilizer. You hardly ever find fertilizer. That's nice. That means I could just, like, I don't know how much faster it makes it, but I know I can put fertilizer on them. That'd be interesting. I haven't really used fertilizer, because normally you only get a couple bags of it, and it doesn't you know, it's not something you want to constantly use if you do find it. Okay. No, no, nothing yet, man. Just not finding anything great. I just need a saw, guys. A saw would be, I would be fine. I, I mean, I'm, I, the screwdriver is just an added bonus. No. Hmm. All right. Well, we still have a lot more crates to go. Lots and lots of crates here. Turquoise paint. Strawberries, tent pegs. Yeah, I don't know. Not really seeing it. Let's get some water real quick. 
before she starts complaining, I'm thirsty, I'm thirsty. It's all right, we got you some water. Don't worry about it, Laura. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, after a quick glance, not really much in this little warehouse area. Come on, open up the door. You know you can do it. There you go. Oh, uh oh, oh, we got some zombies. Come on, guys. Come on out. You see, this is what I was saying. Like, they can see around the wall because they get stuck. Like, they just don't know that they have to get around the wall there. That's fine. You guys can be all little bits now. And you guys have a backpack on you? That'd be nice. Oh, nothing on the shelves at all. Normally, I get at least something on the shelves in here. I was kind of hoping that, oh, this is going to be the room. This is going to be the room that has the has the sledgehammer. Oh, well. I mean, no, not sledgehammer. It has a saw in it. I got a sledgehammer back over in the other place. All right, let's check the next one, and then we'll go into the the like a uh, little break area they got over here, and we'll go in there. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Laura. Thank you. Empty sacks and twine. I'm not gonna really need any of that, really. Really what, what I'll need is to hit up a grocery store too before it gets too cold. And I don't know if it's the next day or the next day after we're going to start hitting the cold pretty hard. I, it's not, I don't think it'll be on this episode. I think we're still just preparing on this episode. I think it's going to be tomorrow or the next day. that It's just all of a sudden going to be freezing. Then we're going to be dealing with cold conditions. And that's interesting. That's going to be interesting. And I don't know if I have the right... Well, at least I have an axe. That's the that, that's one of the biggest things. If I get the saw, I think we're set. And and if the fire mechanics work like I was thinking, like you can actually have a campfire to warm up, that would be great. I don't know if it does, though. I don't know if that actually does work. It should, but probably doesn't. It's probably not something they really uh, have fixed totally yet. A little peckish. So we need a lot of like dry goods, um, canned goods and things like that. Um, I do need a can opener still. I do realize that. What else we got here? Nothing else, huh? Yeah, I'm not really too highly impressed so far with uh, what we've been finding in the crates. Pretty empty crates, to be honest. A little bit of nails here and there is good, though. I will take the nails. But man, have you seen so many empty crates before? Hey, yeah, I have um, really low loot, I think. Okay. A little bit of stuff on this shelf, at least. Not much. Some nails. Wow. They're really getting us with uh, low, low loot. The rarity is just is, is unbelievable. Okay, let's go check out the break room. And then I think we'll take a nap. And get some sleep. Now it's still pretty early. I really shouldn't let Laura sleep that much. I know this is a little bit time consuming and a little bit boring for you guys, but you know this is the preparation and this is kind of what you need to do if you're going to want to survive uh, that winter overhaul or w winter time, and uh, you, know, you got to worry about it. But because I really don't know what's going to happen uh, exactly what they mean. Uh, maybe it's going to be hordes of zombies too. Because it does sound like they said, like, oh, the zombies aren't going to be slowed down that much. So, maybe they're going to be even faster. I don't know. Okay. I know it's going to be hard on her, but I just don't know what type of difficulty it's going to be. Uh, because I took Outdoorsman. <laughs> Which is kind of... Well, it's kind of like a cheat to it all. Because she's not going to be affected by the weather. And if that's the only problem that you get when with winter is coming then you know I, I, I don't really yeah that's why I said I don't really like the hot and cold uh, mechanics of the game too much it's probably the one only gripe I have with this game I think this game has a, uh, is great with with uh, you know the whole like added the, the whole the, the whole thing of trying to survive in the apocalypse it, it, it seems to do an awesome job with that but when it comes to like mechanics of hot and cold I don't think it's like a, it was kind of like an afterthought. Oh, we should make things hot and cold. <laughs> it was like, 
Yeah. Well, you know, you guys should think about like, well, then how do you warm up and how would you, how would you do that? You have to add those, those survival aspects to it, you know, like campfires and being indoors should warm you up a little bit. I'll take orange soda. Why not? <clears throat> Radish. Hmm. Okay. Let's get some sleep for her. It's uh 430 in the daytime. Uh, well, let's check a couple more. Oh, there's a zombie in there. He's just uh, one of the old workers that used to stay, uh, you know, that always was the one, one of the last ones. He was a hard worker. Could find, like, a backpack in here. There's, there's a chance. No, nothing yet. Kind of was hoping there'd be, like, a backpack or something. Anything here? No. Really empty. These places are just so empty right now. Probably would like to sleep in here than more than anything. All right, let's check. Maybe. God, if I could just get a backpack, I'd be so happy. I have water bottles. I guess you know I've been drinking orange soda. I know. And I should probably just start drinking that and then fill up that. Let's uh just drink all of that. Okay, that gave us slightly fed, and then we should be able to fill up a pop bottle. Now we have a water bottle at least, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Go. I think there's a zombie in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's that lunge mechanic, you know? Yeah, there we go. Got a key. You know what? I'll, I'll take the key to, the, to this area just so that maybe I can get in and out of things easier. Might not be a bad idea. She's hot still, man. She was getting a little bit hot, unpleasantly hot. This is like one of those places where, uh, you know, the people walk around uh, in like Walking Dead and everything seems okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any zombies here. Open a door and then just get bit because uh, you weren't, you're, you know, you feel overly confident that you're, everything's safe over here. So you're like, oh no, no problem. Yeah, I don't need to get anything else in there, really. Uh, let's check out this last room here. Just bathrooms. Oh, okay, yeah, see, that's what I was talking about. Oh, look at that, it almost got a bite on me, too. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I am hearing a little bit of zombies. Yeah, and I was feeling way too overconfident for this area right now. Some more keys. No backpacks. It's unfortunate. We'll, we'll just take the key. I don't know what they're going to be to. Who knows? All right. Slight damage. We're okay. No scratches. Should be fine. Um, Anything else I really can get into immediately without grabbing that sledgehammer? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Oh, my keys. My, I don't have a key to these, these places after I'm picking up all those keys. Oh, well, they don't want to hook me up. <clears throat> so we're going to make that break room probably our safe room for right now. That's fine. Maybe front door keys? No, I don't even have the front door keys. That's not cool, man. You would think that key would have been to something around here. Like, if that's his house key? I guess I, guess I could see that. You know, it's not like everybody... Well. But you think the workers... No, not every worker in a workplace has the keys to the building. That makes sense, I guess. There was like a zombie or two in this area. And let's just clear them out before we get some sleep. Might as well. Where is he at? I'm going to do a little... Hey, dude, come on over here. Yeah. I don't want to bust windows and stuff. So let's, uh, let's take care of you all methodically. Move you out away from that door. It's like unsettling to go to an area like this eight months later and it's still just be abandoned. There's no zombies anywhere. Oh, we didn't check out these crates, I don't think. Oh, no, yeah, we did. Yeah, we broke through that door and then came through this way. Alrighty, well, I think what we'll do is go ahead and take a nap and see if the winter started.
It might have started. I'm gonna sleep in here. I like these little little like locker room areas because the doors are set on all on the sides. There's no windows into it, so the zombies can't just you know bust a window and get in. And then you can sleep on these benches. So let's sleep seven hours. Let's see. Maybe the winter starts. If it starts, we'll know. The big breezy ball will come up. And it's past twelve. Not cold yet, I don't think. So. I think we're okay. So we'll go ahead and put a cut in this episode right here, and then I think our next ec episode will be running into winter a little bit. I'm actually probably going to make my way back uh, home so you don't have to witness that little movement. And then once winter hits, we'll go ahead and start back up and everything. All right, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe if you like to see further. Take it easy, guys.